Hey guys, it's Jason Dunn here from Digital Home Thoughts, and this is my review video of the new Dell Mini 10. So Dell is choosing to call this particular model the new Mini 10, rather than giving it a different name or model number, which of course is completely baffling and confusing. So how do you tell which Mini 10 you're looking at? Basically, you're gonna wanna check out the rather distinctive design that the, that the uh, new Mini 10 has. So the regular Mini 10 is a lot, is a lot like other netbooks. It, the design would just sort of cut off here, as in the body would cut off essentially where the, uh, uh, the lid cuts off where the screen is, but on the new Mini 10, the uh, the whole thing just kind of humps out uh, the back here. And the reason why uh, that is is because this is this is basically all, almost all battery. Like when when you look at the battery, it's big and it's deep, and there's actually six six full cells uh, back here. And because of that, the Dell Mini 10, sorry, the new Dell Mini 10. You know, okay, for the rest of this video, I'm just going to call this the Dell Mini 10. You know, it's the new Dell Mini 10. So getting back to the battery. Uh, by having a six cell battery in here and by not having it sort of um, lump out the bottom, you know, or like pop out the back like a lot of other, a lot of other netbooks, Dell has created something that, you know, is, is compact and has great battery life. So I'll address this right up front. The battery life on this particular netbook is really, really good. So compared to any three cell netbook and even actually compared to some uh, six cell netbooks, um, the battery life is fantastic. So I have a, uh, a Lord of the Rings test. I'll just open it up here. I have a test that I do and it's called the Lord of the Rings test. And what it is, it's a, uh, it's a, I, I rip a copy of uh, the extended edition of Lord of the Rings, which is, I believe it's, I think it's two hours and 51 minutes long or something like that, two hours and 58 minutes long. It is really, really long. Most netbooks can't watch the whole thing, okay? The Dell Mini 10 that we're looking at here today with the six cell battery, with uh, the screen turned up to full brightness, with Wi-Fi turned off and doing nothing but just watching the video, you know, full screen uh, using Windows Media Player, the Dell Mini 10 was able to watch the entire thing and still have 56% of its battery life remaining. So what that means is you can watch it twice. Wow, that is really, really impressive. So this thing would get you roughly six hours, maybe slightly less than six hours of video playback at full screen and at full brightness. That is super, super impressive compared to virtually every other netbook I've ever tested. That is really, really good. So Dell did a really good job with that. Another thing they did a good job with was um, the HD video performance. So I'm going to open up a, a test clip here. This is a, a, a 720p H.264, uh, so MPEG-4, H.264 video clip. It's the Fantastic Four, so it's 720p, high definition. And as you can tell here, uh, the frame rate on it is perfect. There's absolutely no drop frames. The images look really good. The performance is really good. Um, yeah, so it plays 720p video without any kind of problems at all. And now, this particular version does not have any kind of hardware acceleration. So this gets into one of the slightly more negative things I have to say about this particular notebook. But before I get to that, I'm going to show you 1080p content. And you'll be able to see the difference uh, pretty much right away. Uh, so this is a 1080p um, video clip. Uh, it's a trailer from The Watchmen. And you'll be able to tell here uh, that the frame rate is awful. I mean, it is like chunky, chunky, chunky. So if I were to guess, I'd say the frame rate was probably somewhere in the 12 to 15 uh, frames per second. So 1080p content is unfortunately not viewable. So this note, netbook is great for 720p content, not so good for uh, seven or 1080p content. Now here's one of the things that I'm not too fond about with this netbook. Dell did something really crazy, and this they did this with the last generation as well. I ordered this netbook as soon as it was available on the market, and what Dell has done is they've put up a whole bunch of information on their website talking about new ver newer versions of this product coming out. So you'll be able to get this with the uh, it's the Broadcom. I think it's the Crystal still view uh, acceleration chipset so that is supposed to accelerate um, HD video content including flash content um, you're supposed to be able to get like a TV tuner a GPS option none of that was available at the time I ordered this particular product so that's a little bit frustrating right if you're if you're looking to get the best you know mini 10 that you can get um, 
you can't actually get it because Dell hasn't officially released it yet. So if you just want a basic netbook and you don't really care about you know accelerating flash content or, or watching 1080p content, um, this is a, a a really really good product uh, uh, to get. Um, the keyboard on it is is really good. Uh, the design, the overall design is pretty good. I mentioned this in my unboxing video, but the three tone effect, like getting getting a different colored lid. The bottom is always going to be white, and then this, of course, is always going to be black. Um, I think combinations that would look really good would be, you know, black or white to go along with the black or white, but I'm not a real fan of how the red looks with this white and with the black. That's just a personal opinion. Everyone has different opinions about color. You may you may love the way that this looks, but I do I do kind of wish that Dell made this body black. I think that that would have actually been been nice. But anyway, there you go. The other thing to note, of course, is this really accentuates it here. You can see how this how this humps out here. Um, because this netbook is deeper, it's deeper going this way than pretty much any other 10 inch screen netbook on the market today, you are gonna have some trouble with accessories. Um, I did a review of the Scuba Design netbook sleeve and it's a neoprene sleeve meant for 10.1 inch netbooks. Uh, and guess what? It wouldn't fit because of this hump back here. Certainly, it's not not a huge big deal, but um, it is just something to be aware of that when you buy this product, you're buying something that is deeper um, than basically any other netbook on the market today. And so if you're looking at accessories, it may not, in fact, be compatible with those accessories. But the benefit that you get for this extra depth is, like I said, the uh, superb battery life. I mean, it, it, it just did really, really well in my battery um, tests. Now, uh, in comparison, in, in terms of uh, performance, I'll just uh, zoom in, make this a little bit bigger here. So um, this is a performance test that I do with a, with a, a program uh, that's called a Pro Show Gold, and it is a slideshow program. And what I do is I render a 1080p uh, video clip, and I see how fast it can go uh, of photos. And it rendered this video clip at 0 0.07 speed, and it took 14 minutes and 59 seconds. So, as you can probably guess, that's really slow. So, even though this is a Pine Trail netbook, um, which has the new chipset from Intel, Performance isn't really improved. You're not you're not really going to see any faster performance. The big deal with Pine Trail was increased battery life by having a chipset that was more uh, mobile friendly. So yeah, not really big on performance. In terms of gaming, it's pretty much what you would expect. You can probably get away with some you know uh, definitely you know flash based browser games stuff that's not super intensive will definitely work. Most other games will not work. Please, for the love of God, don't post a question asking if Counter-Strike will work or if blah, blah, blah will work. Here's the reality. You can probably get almost any game to work on this laptop by you know lowering the resolution, dropping anti-aliasing, and basically making the game look like complete crap. You may, in fact, get it to work, but the performance of it will be pretty atrocious. Some people are totally okay with that. Some people are okay playing a game at like 10 frames per second. And I'm sure some of you will post a comment and say that maybe you're one of those people. I am not one of those people. I like to play games the way that they were meant to be played. And that means fast action with high frame rates. And netbooks are just not great at gaming. That's just a reality. Unless, of course, you get a netbook with um, you know the Ion uh, from NVIDIA uh, or something like that, or like a Linux netbook with Tegra. Anyway, kind of going down a rat hole here. At any rate, um, other things that I'm a bit iffy about with this netbook, um, the touchpad. So I mentioned this with the Dell Mini 10 video. Um, I wasn't I wasn't super fond of this touchpad. Uh, some people are going to be fine with it. Some people have no problems at all adapting to it. I have a little bit of a struggle. Um, I wish that the buttons were actually separate buttons. There has been occasions where I've been doing this. I'll be moving something and then like I, I want to click, but um, uh, the, the two clicks can kind of interfere with each other. I don't believe this is multi-touch capable. If it is, it's not It's not very obvious, but there you go. Um, another thing that I'm not super fond of, and this actually has nothing to do with Dell, this is something to do with Microsoft, is that because this is Windows Home Starter, you can't actually change the wallpaper. So you see right down here uh, where you would normally see the personalize option, Windows 7 Starter doesn't have the personalize option, which I think, I think is really ridiculous. Now, if you do a uh, web search, Google, Bing, whatever, you will find that there are ways to change the desktop wallpaper, but it requires either installing a third-party software or basically doing a little hack. Not really a big deal, but I do wish that Microsoft allowed you to change the desktop wallpaper because it's pretty stupid to have to look at this the whole time. So, there you go. That's my review of the new 
Dell Mini 10. I hope you find this uh, helpful. Please post a comment, post your questions, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot for watching.